Hey everyone, welcome back to Coffee Break Investing. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video this morning about some of the stocks that I've picked up this week. Um, I just want to start with the one that's on the screen. So I picked up, um, I, should, I should probably explain that I, I only buy very small amounts of stock. And um, so I actually only bought a single share of, of this stock this week. So um, I bought Automatic Data Processing, which is a payroll and HR benefits company based in the US. Um, and one of the things that I really love about this company, it has a very high return on capital employed. Um, it also has a good dividend um, and it has obviously fallen off the highs of February this year. Um, it's currently trading at a price to earnings ratio of um, around 25, has a stable dividend of 2.66%. Um, and I just think that it is one of these stocks that is more stable and more reliable than some of the other ones because of this return on capital employed. I think that will keep um, uh, it will it will continue to earn money um, in a not in an easy way, but it will generate those earnings um, automatically, as it were. So. I picked up one of these. I'm very happy with the purchase. Uh, if you just look at the the annual financials, the revenues has been going up year on year up until the end of 2019, as have the earnings. And if we look at the quarterly chart, even through 2019, revenue was relatively stable, as were earnings. Um, it's actually got a hold recommendation on the stock but i i have been it's been on my watch list for a long time and i thought it was time to pick up one of those so that's the first stock i picked up this week the second stock was this one which is i'm not going to try and say the first name it must be a dutch name of some kind but this is the company that we all know and love as philips and they are based in the Netherlands. Um, I picked this up uh, for about $40.70 per share. Um, what I really like, like about Philips is the strength of the balance sheet. So they're um, based on the research that I did, their short-term assets um, are larger than their short-term liabilities and their short uh, and their long-term liabilities. Um, so this is a really solid company. They're obviously um, a key player in the fight against coronavirus um, because they're building ventilators and they're a healthcare manufacturer. Um, so I really like this stock. I think it's trading at a bit of a discount. You can see the six-month chart here. More or less the whole market has followed this kind of trend that it hit highs in either January or February, hit lows in March, and now has bounced back up in April, but it's still trading at a discount to the prices that um, these companies had last year, mainly based on the continuing uncertainty, really. Uh, so P to E ratio is 26. The dividend, again, is in the 2% range. Um, and... Again, great revenue, great earnings. One of the things that convinced me to buy this, not only was it the increasing revenue and earnings for um, over the quarters of 2019, but it was also that this is a strong buy uh, based on analyst recommendations, which is, which is usually a good sign. Okay, so that's the second stock I picked up. The third stop stock was... Um, I should probably search for it, was Ternium. Now, I'm not an expert in Ternium, but I do know that a steel manufacturer in primarily in South America, and they produce steel, I believe, for all of the South American countries, Brazil, Argentina, Mexico are one of their biggest customers. Um, but also, I think they supply to the United States. Um, 
Now, the reason that I um, bought Ternium this week is for a different reason to the other two. So the first one was return on capital employed. The second one was the balance sheet. The reason I bought this one is because this hasn't really bounced back from the March lows so much. So you can see on the chart there, it hit $9.59 in the middle of March, and it's now trading at $12.77. But in February, it was, or the January high there you can see was $23.65. So I've actually owned Ternium stock for a long time. Uh, well, uh, not a long time, uh, about six months, I would say. And so my stock has suffered about a 40% reduction in value. This I see as a company that is potentially undervalued. And so from a value point of view, I bought this, I bought more of this stock because I believe that they're going to survive and that this is just a blip in their performance. So they're actually trading at a price to earnings ratio of just four. And they currently have a dividend of 9.6%, which is fantastic. I'm well aware of, you know, the companies that are suffering um, from income loss at the moment, they may cut their dividends, they may stop their dividends. That I'm not that concerned about. I'm not really uh, in this stock for the short term dividends. I just, um, I'm, in, I'm in this stock now for the long term capital growth, which I think they will generate again once um, coronavirus stops disrupting the market. Um, I think steel sales around the world are actually performing quite well from what I've read, and, and therefore I'm less concerned that this, this is priced correctly. Um, so revenue-wise, it's been a bit up and down over the recent years, um, and on a quarterly basis, the revenue has actually been decreasing as earnings. That is a, a bigger concern, and um, we, I just hope that they can, they can manage themselves out of this crisis and get back to um, higher levels of profitability in the future. But I'm confident that they'll do it. I wouldn't buy the stock if I wasn't confident in their ability to do it. So, And I also think that the basic materials sector has taken an unjustified hit through coronavirus, and I think there's a lot of undervalued stocks in the basic materials sector. So I'm going to continue to look into that sector for future purchases. Um, anyway, those are the three stocks that I bought this week. Ternium, Philips, and Automatic Data Processing. I hope you like my video. Please um, subscribe to the channel, like the video, um, and you can continue to support everything that I'm um, producing. Thanks, guys. Bye for now. Have a good weekend.